Welcome back to my garage. There's been a co there's an echo in here now. I've got I uh, you'll see later. I've been on vacation and I've also taken a couple of weeks off. What's going on here? Just to get some some contrasts in my life. I like contrast. I haven't managed to stay away completely. So there's actually quite a few things that has happened. Even though I've tried to do other things. Lots to cover. Uh, I think I'll just quickly go through all the stuff. Then we'll take the brute force engine mock-up apart and install the crank so that we can continue on fitting the pulleys. I've got the crank pulley machined and now I need the pulley for the for the blower. I'm also testing a new microphone mounted to the camera. Up until now I've used a overhead mic on a boom which is kind of annoying getting into position and you have to remember to turn it on and you have to sync the audio and uh, and sync it in the, in the editing and uh, it's just a hassle so I, I'm hoping the, the sound is okay now I have no clue, I haven't listened, I haven't tried it before so kind of stupid trying it in, <laughs> in the actual video anyways, video the video I've installed a roof it's just been plastic up until now and to you Americans this could just as well have been gold it seems because I know prices has gone up extremely uh, by extremely much 400% in America for this OSB uh, sheets it's not that bad in Norway it is bad but these sheets are in off dimension and they were cheap cheap the sacrifice I had to make is I had to brace them in places as you can see because they won't fit the, the beams or whatever that's called I said I was going to go for a retarder instead of the hydraulic pump for my dyno build, my low cell dyno and thanks to Kjetil Gunnarsson, a huge thanks I've got one it's an old Telma unit out of a big truck he got three for cheap from a salvage yard and uh, gave one away to me he's also building a dyno, maybe two so uh, huge thanks to Kjetil Gunnarsson I'll have to rewire it, it's uh, wired for the 24 volts and so the amperage will be much too high so I'll have to rewind it in series, all the coils in series and uh, I'll see 192 volts and that's what the eddy current power supply from yourdyno.com works of, uh, or can, can use it can also use lower voltage but uh, the amperage will get very high here's thanks to Stein at yourdyno.com for giving me the great price on this it has a little ding here and I got it 50% off really sturdy and nice unit and it should work perfectly with my your dyno your dyno dyno controller awesome awesome thank you Barry Schneid I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly there's a link in the description for this and mills they're a solid carbide quality German made non coating and mills perfect for um, for aluminium which is 99% of what I'm doing in my mill no, I got a few sizes from them. They're selling um, surplus, great price, and they're also doing regrinds on the, on your favorite mills. So check them out. Really nice. They, they've just started up it, uh, I think. So uh, just might need some support. Check them out. Preparing this 32 millimeter PWK carp for uh, for testing on the on the PIP engine on methanol and nitromethane. I drilled out the float jet, and I've. Uh, I've made some holes for better flow and uh, I've drilled out the immersion tube I've drilled out the pilot circuit My plan is to put it on the end of that intake tube for testing and uh, just run without the pilot jet and uh, just the main jet and I have the slide zip tied to the top here so it's always open and use the actual intake which is supposed to go there together with this carb and I think this should be a much, of course it's much much more like what it's supposed to be but also now when this is closed the crankcase volume is not that hopelessly big it is uh, hopelessly big but uh, it is insanely hopelessly big with, uh, with that extra extra volume there and I think that might be what caused the, the carburation problems for the, that smaller primary intake carb in the, the, the previous video where I started it I've printed an adapter plate for that large 35 millimeter pumper carb, the double stack, which is tuned for um, for alcohol fuels. Hopefully that'll work.
I need to clean this properly so there's no grit or anything, burrs or anything in here. Put in the seals. As you can see, they're pushed in from the inside, so that's kind of inconvenient for assembly and disassembly. But it makes so that they can't pop out from pressure, and there will be a lot of pressure in this engine, more than usual, hopefully. did not want to just drop in there. I will have to draw it in, which ideally should have been done with a spacer pushing on the inner race of the bearing, but with my seal here, which I had to push in from the inside, I can't do that. So I will have to do it this way, which is not ideal, but uh, will be fine. It's not like it's the first time I've done it this way. My old, old engine, the one that's my old engine, the one that's on the land speed racer, currently sitting in Arkansas, USA, has the same design with the seals pushed in from the inside. And that works just fine. I might have to move this over to the vise, very likely. Forgot I need sealer. <laughs> that was close. has to sit about a millimeter, millimeter off that uh, this plate here and there's a uh, 2.8 millimeters from this surface to the to the seat in there so about 3.8 millimeters 4 millimeters It's the day after, I've switched out the rum for coffee to be extra efficient. I've got a stack of shim washers here, which totals at 3.92 millimeters. And that should be about right for what we need here. So let's see how that fits. That looks very much perfect. Let's machine a solid spacer of the same size.
blower pull is done, there will be an idler here to tension the belt. I want to clean up the transition between the sleeve and the, the actual cylinder. Nothing special here, just uh, a lot of time spent with uh, different burrs and files. So uh, I'll just do a quick little clip of it. It's not not really it's not really interesting at all, and uh, no porting tips or tricks or secrecy. It's just just time. I'll end this video here for now, but um, there will be a lot more videos coming, more frequent videos coming now, as my vacation is over. Yeah, see you next time!